The most important step in stopping binge eating was to stop restricting my food. That's right, to stop binge eating, I ate. For close to 20 years, I suffered from a disordered eating pattern of binge eating that resulted from restrictive dieting. But I came out victorious, and make sure you stay until the end of the video because I explained a very important step in my journey that occurred after I stopped binging. I was caught in this loop and was always either dieting or binging. I had to break it, but I wasn't even aware that I was in this loop or what it meant until I began to study intuitive eating several years ago. There are many principles to intuitive eating that I will elaborate more on in future videos. But for me, the most important one in stopping binge eating is to stop restricting food. If you're a chronic dieter, the idea of not restricting your food probably sounds scary. If it does, then you know that you're on the right path. The initial phase of ending dieting and binging will probably be rough. You might lose some control over your eating for a while and gain some weight. This is because you're allowing yourself to have whatever food you want and your body's not going to trust you that you're not going to take it away like you always do. I experienced some binges and gained about 20 pounds as a result of this. This made me uncomfortable. So I learned more about the haze, health at every size, to increase my confidence in what I was doing for my health. And I prayed a lot and strengthened my relationship with the Lord. If you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. Do you suffer from binge eating and think you may try these tips? If you feel comfortable enough to do so, please let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Bye, Lucy. Eventually, my body adjusted and started to trust me. It understood that I was allowing it to have these treats whenever it wants, so it doesn't have to binge before I take it away again. This is why the answer to stopping binging is to eat. I did this for an entire year, and I'm glad that I gave myself that time to truly heal from chronic dieting. That's what I needed. I'd like to take a moment to explain the difference between disordered eating like I had and binge eating disorders. To qualify as having binge eating disorder, you have to meet with a qualified healthcare provider, such as a psychiatrist, for a thorough assessment. Professionals use the fifth edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, DSM-5, to help diagnose eating disorders. Here are some signs and symptoms of binge eating disorder, as taken from the DSM-5. Recurring episodes of eating large amounts of food, more than most people would eat in similar circumstances in a short period of time. Eating rapidly, beyond fullness and secret eating, marked with distress or ambiguous sense of lack of control with eating during the episodes. For example, a feeling that one cannot stop eating or control what or how much one is eating. Binge episodes average at least once a week for three months. I met the first three criteria, but not the last one. My episodes were less frequent and predictable. This could have been the end of my story if all I wanted to do was to stop binging, but it wasn't quite the end of my journey. I came to a point where I wanted to be at my goal weight. I do believe that people can achieve that without restrictive dieting. People should be comfortable with themselves, and I wasn't happy with myself. Every day it seemed I was having to go out and buy bigger clothes, and I just wasn't feeling good anymore. So with the knowledge that I had learned from intuitive eating, I developed my own unique method to successfully and slowly lose weight and keep it off. So I no longer have the desire to binge, and I'm free from it. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this video helped. All the principles in intuitive eating are important to understand. So stay tuned for my future videos to learn more about what intuitive eating is and how it can help you in your health journey. Bye everyone.